A while back, I spoke about the wonderful verses of St. Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians, in which he speaks about what love is. And practically on every one of these individual verses, the author of this book has a separate meditation. In this particular case, he takes most of those verses, four out of the five of them, and has a meditation on those verses. That is, this is chapter 18, verses 4 through 7. So here are the verses. St. Paul says, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable and keeps no record of when it has been wronged. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. So that's what St. Paul says, and now this is the meditation by the author. He says, It seems that there are no stronger words about love than those of St. Paul. They express everything that makes us feel how necessary love is. They warm our soul and ignite in it that spark of love, which spreads and fills our entire being, and with God's help, spills over into everything which surrounds us. How cold and terrifying it is to think that we so easily fall away from love. Which one of us does not get irritated, is not boastful, does not demand our own way, is not resentful. But in all these aspects of human frailty, there is no love. Let us pray with all the strength of our soul that the Lord not permit this spark to be extinguished in us, that he who is love teach us to love in such a way that love fills our life with its light and never becomes dim. Let it shine for us until the end of our days and show us the way to heaven. Every corner of the earth, even the most hidden one, when lit by the eternal sun, becomes beautiful in that light. Likewise, love, broad, limitless love for everyone and everything should illuminate, elevate, and fill with warmth everything we do. And everything that seems insignificant, boring, or repulsive to us will look different and have a different meaning. Therefore, do everything in love, as St. Paul also says in that first letter to the Corinthians.